Hey guys, I got a power supply here from a Line 6 amplifier uh, with some opto couplers, okay? Uh, there's four of them, one, two, three, four. And uh, I need to test these opto couplers to see if they work. So I thought I'd make a video showing you how I test these in circuit without removing them. Okay, let's uh, start by going over an opto coupler and uh, see what it is. All right, guys, here is the opto coupler. And it's an 817 series optocoupler, okay? And uh, here it is right here. Okay, there's the pinout. And uh, you can see there's an LED in here and there's a transistor in here, okay? Between pins one and two is the LED and three and four is the transistor. And the way this works is uh, when the LED turns on, it shines a light on the base and causes the transistor to start conducting, okay? So uh, the brighter the LED gets, the more that transistor conducts, okay, until it reaches uh, the maximum. And that maximum would be uh, whatever the forward voltage of this diode is. And uh, let's, uh, let's scroll down here and have a look, see if we could find it. Let's see, uh, yeah, right here. Forward voltage, 1.2 volts, okay, right there. And now there's four optocouplers on this board that I showed you. And I've already tested three of them. Uh, I'm going to test uh, the fourth one right now. And the first three only went to 1.1 volts. So I'm guessing the, the fourth one will only go up to 1.1. Okay. Uh, but that's fine. All right. Now the current for this, it says it'll go up to 50, but that's an absolute maximum. And uh, this forward voltage here that was tested at uh, 20 milliamps. So we'll go up to like 20 or 30 milliamps and uh, see what we get. Now, now if we, if we go, if this goes up to 1.1 uh, volts, because that's what the other ones went up to, and we have a current of, say, 25, 30 milliamps, then uh, using Ohm's law, we can calculate that the resistance we're going to measure is around uh, 45 or 50 ohms. So uh, if we are, if we have the maximum light, across here okay the lowest resistance we're going to measure here is around 45 uh 50 ohms okay so what we're going to do is we're going to connect a, a power supply here okay right here plus or minus to make the light shine okay and we're going to start at 0.5 volts and we're going to go up to the maximum 1.1 okay and then across here i'm going to connect my multimeter okay and we're going to measure the resistance as we go up in power, we should see that resistance drop until we reach the, the cutoff voltage, which is 1.1. Uh, and then this should drop to around 45 ohms, 50 ohms around there somewhere. Okay. So uh, that's how we'll know that this thing is working. So let's do that right now. All right, guys. So what I'm going to do is solder some leads onto the LED side of this optocoupler uh, so I can have something to... Uh, attach my power supply to uh, considering that this is a surface mount it'll just be easier to do it this way okay so let's do that and I'm gonna use a uh, orange wire for the positive okay and uh, white with the orange stripe for the negative now that little dot on here that's uh, that's pin one uh, that's the anode that's where the positive is going to go okay all right I think that should be good. All right, guys, I've got the two wires connected, ready for my power supply. And uh, now you're probably thinking, why don't I just do a uh, regular LED uh, diode test? Uh, so let's do that. Let's put the meter in diode mode and let's see what we get for the voltage on this diode. All right, so we got 0.88 volts, okay? So let's uh, reverse the leads and check the other way. Same thing, 0.87. All right, you can't really tell in circuit if this is uh, good or not because you're getting the same reading on both sides of the diode, okay? So the only real way to test it is to remove it from the circuit or to test it in circuit the way I'm about to do uh, by applying power to the LED. Because what, what we're doing is we're actually testing the functionality of this uh, optocoupler. We're not checking the diode or led or the transistor to see if it's shorted or not uh we're actually testing to see if it works okay so uh let's do that right now all right guys i've set the power supply up to 
0.5 volts, okay? Uh, that's what we're going to start at, and uh, we're going to increment it uh, slowly and measure the resistance. And now I'm going to current limit it because uh, I don't want to go past the maximum. So I'm going to go uh, around, I don't know, maybe up to 25, uh, 30 milliamps around there, okay? Because uh, we don't want to blow this thing, okay? All right, so that's set. So let's test it. All right, so now I'm going to take the power supply leads and uh, connect them across the LED and uh, the positive goes on the orange wire, okay, and then the, the ground goes on the white orange striped wire, okay, and uh, that should be good. Now the power supply is uh, currently off. Uh, I turned it back off so we could do an initial test and uh, measure the initial resistance. All right, so we're going to measure the initial resistance with the power supply off. Make sure you have no power going to this from anywhere else, okay? Make sure your power supply or your circuit that you're testing is not plugged in. All right. So it looks like the resistance is 3.7 mega ohms. All right, so that's, that's basically an open circuit. So the transistor is completely open now. Uh, there is no power going to the optocoupler, so uh, let's turn the power supply on and uh, let's see what happens. All right, so let's see if anything changed with this resistance. Okay, it looks like we're still we're still high around three between three point six and four mega ohms. So let's raise the voltage by uh, 0 0.1 to uh, 0 0.6 okay and let's see if that changed anything all right we're still there at uh four mega ohms so let's go let's go up to 0 0.8 okay let's go to 0 0.8 and see what that does that should bring it down because we're getting close to 1.1 Yeah, 47.8 kilo ohms. Look at that. The transistor is starting to close and conduct some current because the LED is putting out some light. Okay, so let's go to 0 0.9. 1.2 to 9 kilo ohms, okay? So now we got some light coming out of the LED and the transistor is turning on, okay? Uh, let's go to 1 volt. Hundred and twenty two ohms. All right, so and let's finally let's go to one point one. And we are at fifty five fifty six ohms. Okay, so now it's it's pretty much open, but let's go up to raise the current. Notice how the voltage stays at one point one when I try to raise it, but the current goes up to the max that we have set, okay. So let's measure it now. 40 ohms, okay? And I think that's about it, okay? That's about all we're going to get here. All right, guys. So that's how I test an optocoupler in circuit. So this optocoupler tested good. It did exactly what it was supposed to do. Now, you could desolder it and remove it and test it out of circuit if you want. That's fine. But this is how I do it. It's just uh, easier, okay? And, uh, yeah, so you saw when it reached uh, 1.1, the forward voltage, I couldn't couldn't raise it anymore. It wouldn't go any higher, okay? But when I tried to raise it, the current went higher. So you got to watch it. If you do this test, you got to make sure your current limit because you could easily blow the LED side of the optocoupler uh, by letting your current go too high, all right? So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, thanks for watching.